away from Hollywood is my next guest. Peter Francis Dante is here to talk about his new movie, Jack and Jill. And next, Nicolette Brisky is here with her all-natural products that celebs just can't seem to get enough of. Coming up right after this message. I'm Jack, and we're at Minute Clinic inside my CVS. Just got a flu shot like a champ. Mom! Taking on the master of disaster, the flu! It's the fight of the season! Your flu shot's next, champ. Let's do this. Flu shots every day, no appointment needed. Most insurance accepted. Get a $5 CVS gift card if you're not covered. Find us at MinuteClinic.com. I'm Jack, and I took the flu down. My next guest has been in dozens of movies with his BF, Adam Sandler. Welcome, Peter Francis Dante. Thank you. Thank you, Yvonne. You know, thank you guys. Thank you very much. I, I have to appreciate the Peter Francis Dante because the world just calls me Dante, so I like to hear my whole name. That was nice. Yeah, yeah. you know, I was wondering about that. It's wonderful that you're using your whole name. That's different. Yeah. I like it very much. So, you're best friends with Adam Sandler. How did yeah. that relationship develop? Well, it's funny. Um, way back when I was a production assistant on the Larry Sanders show, we used to play basketball at Gary Shandling's house every weekend. And Adam showed up, and I was like, looked at him, and I was like, hmm, I think that guy's funny. And I was like, hey, man, me and my lacrosse teammates, where I played at Hofstra, I said, we used to sit in at spring break and watch you guys on VHS all day. You know, mm. him and Chris Farley, Chris Rock. He was like, you sound familiar, where are you from? And I said, I'm from Connecticut, why? He said, I'm from New Hampshire. I said, well, you shoveled more snow than me. And he's like, hey, we should play one-on-one -on -one after this. And right after, we played basketball one-on-one -on -one together that day and became best friends just like anyone else becomes best friends. You know what I mean? Great. It's a very odd question you hear because Brad Pitt is also one of my other best friends and people always be like, hey, Dante, how'd you become best friends with Brad Pitt <laughs> and Adam Sandler? And you're like, and I, my answer back is always like, wait, how did you become best friends with your best friend? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the same thing. Well, it's a great way to get all the girls and, well, you yeah. know, yeah. If, if that's your thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got one girl. But anyway, that's fabulous. Yeah. How do you find time to coach? I understand you're coaching for LXM, is it? 610? Yeah. LXM Pro, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. How do you find time to do that? Well, you know, it's very, we're fortunate that our movies um, have been very successful over mm -hmm. the years. And um, it, it'll take a block of time to shoot something and then you get time off. And in between movies, I'll always volunteer time for lacrosse because I love the sport. I played it. It's the fastest growing sport in America. It's a lot safer than the sport of football. Sorry, I love the sport of football as well. But due to all the, you know, spine injuries and stuff, I have a passion on getting kids into a safer sport so yeah. that they don't get hurt in college and, and you know something bad happens to them. And you also you have a band. Yes I do. Tell I us do. about I, that. Well I have a couple of bands actually. Adam and I are in a band together called the Adam Sandler Jam Band <laughs> and we play at our holiday party and maybe a couple benefits or something mm -hmm. you know over the year. Goodness and you mm -hmm. do concerts and everything? Not really. That, that's okay. something that takes a lot of time you know. Yeah, you that, need to rehearse that's, that's that. a commitment. Yeah. yeah. This, this LXM Pro thing let me get back to that is a group of guys who all went to Maryland together. Mm -hmm. And they also do youth lacrosse uh, out in California. And they're trying to grow the sport organically and show people what's really unique about it. You know, and we have concerts like last year, we had Wale play with us over here in uh, Radnor, and it was mm -hmm. awesome. Do you know Max Ritz? I do know Max Ritz. Uh, yeah, he was on my show also. He's a great kid. He's a lacrosse fan. And uh, matter of fact, isn't he uh, co-owners of one of the lacrosse teams? He is uh, one of the CEOs of LXM Pro with my with my friends, Max Xander Ritz, Scott Hogstead, and my friend Kyle Harrison. That's the same team? Uh, all the, LXM all, is LXM 610? Mm -hmm. Oh, OK, OK, because mm -hmm. I didn't know the 610 part. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, the 610 part is because we do shows all over the country. Mm -hmm. We do them in St. Augustine, Florida, Tech, Austin, Texas, wherever we want to help youth lacrosse you right. know, be raised. And we do mm -hmm. clinics as well for the mm -hmm. kids. We, we go and do free clinics, and we go meet all the youth teams and speak to them. You know. Yeah, Max is uh, from Pennsylvania, and I went out to meet him. He they, both, had a, they went to Radnor High School. He, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, and I went out to meet him, and he was doing a team out there. Um, I guess it, was, it must have been the LXM. 
uh, LXM Pro. I mm -hmm. don't know. But um, he loves the team. He, he just, I think he was trying to put one in a movie or something or another. Yeah, we have a whole yeah. bunch of ideas to, to have a TV show with it as well and to mm -hmm. shoot a bunch of short films to also show what the people are like who play the game of lacrosse. Mm -hmm. Not just specifically about the sport, because a lot of people are like, well, I don't care about that sport, you know, or they mm -hmm. don't know about it. Right. So what we're going to do is show the lives of these guys, because to play on a professional lacrosse team, you still have to have another job, because you don't get paid enough. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. So all these guys choose to come in, fly in for our events, and be mm -hmm. a part of our little fraternity that we're growing so that we can, you know, keep it, keep it consistent, keep the best people around, you know? Tell us what the cross is. All the Indians that came to our country before it was our country mm -hmm. used to play lacrosse for weeks at a time. Oh, can you imagine Their tribes that? played against one another for weeks at a time. And it was you know? hundreds. Oh, hundreds. So I'm talking about they played, you know, obviously it was a life and death sport back then mm -hmm. because when the, the last Indian ended up with the ball on the property, his that became their reservation. So they played yeah. lacrosse for their property. So it's real, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, it's a real quite sport. A, quite a history. And they still play box across those Indians yeah. in upstate New York, and oh they're, they're amazing. Goodness. So I have passion for that whole thing. I mean, in the history of our country, many things have happened to, to many different types of people, right. i.e. out west used to be Mexico. You know, the mm -hmm. Indians used to mm -hmm. reside here. Things have changed, but I think we all need to respect where it all came from, you know? Yes. And, and that's why I love lacrosse, you know, because it was an ancient Indian game. And, and now all the Ivy League schools, all the greatest all schools, yeah. every school plays yeah. it. And you can get a full scholarship, you know? Yeah, it's, it's really taken a storm across America. And I coach also a college lacrosse team out uh, west called Loyola Marymount University mm -hmm. with my friend Craig Hogstad, who's a brother of the LXM Pro. He's also involved in this. We all do it together because it, if you're doing it right, you stick together and you teach it the right way and right. you teach the passion and you teach the respect and the common courtesy and the, you know, what it is, is being on a team is like being a part of a family or mm -hmm. being a good friend. Yes. We all have to have each other's backs and, you know, that's, I also feel that that's a, that's another situation why our country's in such a bad place right now is not just the economy, people don't care about each other enough. Yeah, yeah. And lacrosse is one of them games where we care about each other. Our teammates care about each other. You got to care, care about each other because you're going to get hit if you don't care about each other. You know, it's one yeah. of those games that's physical. And life's like that, too. I feel that all of us are, need to be more responsible to care about each other to help the situation get better, you know? We're going to come right back with more from Peter Francis Dante. And we're going to talk about his new movie, Jack and Jill, after this message. <laughs> This holiday season, something terrifying is coming to visit Jack. His sister, Jill. What are you doing? Why can't I just lay with you? From the producers of Grown Ups. Hi, buddy. You're missing out. She's crazy. She's never leaving. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. Adam Sandler is. Please don't destroy my pool. Jack and Jill. November 11th. Welcome back, and we're here with actor Peter Francis Dante. <laughs> Tell us about your new movie. Well, November 11th, Jack and Jill comes out. <clears throat> That's our next Happy Madison Adam Sandler um, movie, and uh, Al Pacino's in it, too. Oh, my goodness. That's why pretty you, cool. Why didn't you call me? I, I, that, you know what? It was kind of a surprise to me. <laughs> I was like, Al Pacino's in this? You know, and... Uh, Katie Holmes plays his wife in it. It's, it's an extremely funny movie. Adam plays uh, a girl and a boy. He plays twin brother and sister. Oh, my and goodness. And no offense to my best friend, but he does not make the best looking woman. Uh. You hear me? Mm -mm. So uh, it's going to be real funny because the woman character is kind of annoying, but, like, it's his twin sister, so they have a and, lot in and common. And that's where they get the Jack and Jill from? Yeah, and, you know, i got to say, I've never seen someone work as hard as Adam did on this movie on set. He would shoot... The first half of the day as the lady, you know, getting the makeup and do the girl part all mm -hmm. day. And then the next, like, eight hours, we shoot, like, 15-hour days on the average, usually. So. Wow. Then the next half of the day, he'll go do, play the dude part. 
<laughs> and that's that's and that's amazing to see. Oh, yeah, so. people don't realize it's a lot of hard work. Oh yeah, a lot of hard work. And there's a lot of good cameos in this, with including uh, David Spade's in a scene with me, and uh, David Spade is dressed up like a woman as well, and he does not make a good looking woman <laughs> as also. But, uh, well, it had to be fun. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. had to be fun. But you've been in quite a few movies. Outside of your new one coming out, mm -hmm. I wanted to um, ask you about the other movies that you've done. Mm -hmm. Name a few. Well, I started out with Adam and the Wedding Singer, mm -hmm. <coughs> way back there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the next movie after that, I was the quarterback in The Waterboy, mm -hmm. which was a fun, very fun part because I got to be really mean to him. Yeah. You know, so you make pretend to be real mean to your best friend, mm -hmm. and then when they say cut, you, know, you get to laugh, you know. So The Waterboy was fun, and then I did a movie called Big Daddy with him after that. Mm -hmm. And I played uh, a gay lawyer in that one mm -hmm. with uh, my friend Alan Covert, um, who was also uh, in a movie called Grandma's Boy with me, with my mm -hmm. friend Nick Swartzen, who was the star of Bucky Larson, Born to be a Star. Okay. Which just okay. came out recently as well. Okay. Um, so we're all like a little family, you know, we work together all the time. Those guys all went to NYU together and I met them obviously playing basketball out in LA. I'm a, I'm a few, I'm a couple years younger than them, so. And you say Bucky, Bucky Larson is out now, right? Yeah, yeah, it's in theaters oh, right now. Mm -hmm. It's out now, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, yeah. fantastic. And all of the guys, we've all been working together a long time. As a matter of fact, it's like Kevin James was on the Sony lot mm -hmm. with his show King of Queens and we met him. Oh, that's um, great. Yeah, it's, it's a little family. Great, I'm great, I see. You know, I thank you so much for taking time out to be thank on the you. show. Coming up, learn how to go all natural. Keep it right there. First you and me Share them together Extra crunchy Save one for me Share them together New extra crunchy oh, Share New Thicker Cut Walkers Extra Crunchy Made for sharing Share Sometimes Share What does Holly Berry and Victoria Beckham have in common? They both use all natural products. And here to tell us all about it is my next guest, Nicolette Brisky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show, Nicolette. Oh, of course. Thanks for having me. I understand that going all natural is just a hot commodity nowadays. Well, uh, you know, I believe going natural and living a healthy lifestyle is important for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, today, we're always on the go, always rushing, and we really don't spend enough time to stop and smell the flowers. And we don't, we don't really give ourselves the time to explore products and see, you know, what they have in them, you know, what they're composed of, their ingredients. And it's just so I think that going natural um, is just a really healthy choice. I think we all need to embrace that. Tell us what's the ingredients exactly. Well, you know, all the products are very different here. You know, mm -hmm. we have tea to water mm -hmm. to products for girls 6 through 12 that don't include parabens. Mm -hmm. We have um, skin care that is 100% organic based. So there's a lot of variations here, but the point is that they are all natural and they were they were really designed to, to give, you know, the most benefits and just to be healthy, better alternatives to what's already out there. And what about preservatives? There are no preservatives, mm -hmm. um, so you know it's just it's just good stuff. You need good. to try it out and and see how it feels to go oh natural. <laughs> and you you also have beauty products and stars like Randy Jackson have used your product. Yes. Um, well, we have water here. It's Hint Water. And mm -hmm. yeah, there are some top A-listers that are drinking the Hint Water. Mm -hmm. As for the Suki skincare, yeah, there's Halle Berry, Victoria Beckham that are, are purchasing this and wearing it and making them look even more beautiful than they are. I noticed that Randy's skin has been looking fabulous lately. You think it's uh, because of he's been using these products? Well, it, I mean, it very well could be. You know, of course, it, it is important what you put on your skin as well as what you consume. 
So if you're drinking and eating the right things and you're getting plenty of exercise and rest, then mm -hmm. of course that's going to show on your skin as well. So, you know, although proper skin care is extremely important, it's not everything. So it's a combination of things. Oh, it's absolutely What you put in your body and also what you put on your body. Of course. Oh, fantastic. Sure. Tell us what you got here. Okay, so starting off we have Suki Skin Care. You can find it at SukiPure.com. Suki is great because there are just loads and loads of products um, that they have spent many years working on. No matter what your, your skin issue is, if, if you're a little dry, if you're oily, or maybe you, you have a problem with your skin and, and you've tried different products and they just haven't worked, Suki is really the way to go. Um, I recommend, highly recommend checking out the website and it's also a lot of fun because it's like you click on something and that prompts you to check something else out. They also make makeup mm -hmm. and shampoos and products for your hair. So it's just this really, really fascinating website. Um, and there's, there's a cute little about me section and it tells you all about the founder. Um, they use some really interesting ingredients and mm -hmm. ingredients that we can understand like beeswax oh, yes. and green tea yeah. and you know cocoa butter <laughs> you know yeah. you're not dealing with the 30 letter word and you're just like forget it I don't even know what that is so I'm right. not gonna put that on my face right tell us about the other products you have yes yeah, so that is hint water and mm -hmm. hint fizz and you oh. can find that at um, hintwater.com um, the it's simply is just water with natural flavoring, mm -hmm. but it's a great alternative to regular water. Now, I'm a huge water drinker. I love water, but sometimes I, I get bored. I mean, I have to say I get bored. So what a perfect alternative to just regular water just gives you a little bit more flavor, and then if you want some fizz, go for the Hint Fizz. That is perfect, because yes. I do not like drinking water myself. <laughs> I never have, so anything with a little flavor is really great. You're not having all that sweetness in your drink and I also think it's such a perfect drink to give your children in mm -hmm. their lunch bags so that think about it this way your child's palate's already going to start mm -hmm. developing and enjoying drinks that are not super sweet like maybe they're used to with the fruit juices mm -hmm. and, and the soda so that later on in life it's not going to be this big change where hey now I want my kids to start drinking better, you know, better options, right, waters right. that are not so sweet. What about artificial sweetness, though? It doesn't have no. artificial sweetness. No, okay. that's what's great about okay. it, is that there are no artificial sweetener, sweeteners, there are no sugars, it's just natural flavor. It's just natural fruit flavor. Great. So you have, you know, flavors like watermelon and blackberry, and you mm. have some cool flavor combos, and, you know, pick like seven and you have one for each day of the week. <laughs> Very healthy. Very yeah, it's, healthy. Well, it's totally healthy. There's, there's no calories. We'll be right back with more from Nicolette Brisky in just one moment. <laughs> Chug that coffee. Bolt that burrito. No matter what life throws at you, you can take the heat until it turns into heartburn. Good thing you got what it takes to beat that heat, too. Zantac. It's strong. Just one pill can knock out the burn. It's fast. The speed you need for heartburn relief. And it lasts up to 12 hours. So, let them turn up the heat. You can stop that heartburn cold. Zantac. Welcome back, and we're here with Nicolette Brisky, and we're talking about all natural products. Nicolette, tell us what you have here. You have some more wonderful products that we can use. So before we were talking about that Suki skincare for the adults, but we have something for children as well. Mm -hmm. It's called June Skincare, and you can find it at itsjune.com, and that's J-O-O-N. Oh. Um, what's great about this line is that it was created for, for young girls, 6 mm -hmm. through 12, a lot of us might think, you know, why, why worry about skin when they're so young? But it's important. And what's great is that they're able to learn how to care for their skin. And of course, that will be very advantageous later in their lives. And what else do you have? Yeah, so moving right along, we have the Maddie's um, Health products. And what I love is that you can go on the website and check out exactly which ingredients are in each and product. And give us that website address. Yeah, that's, that's Maddie's healthyproducts.com. And what else do you have here? All right. So we have honey tea. 
I don't know if you were ever taught by your mom or your grandmother how important honey was. Yes, along with everybody else. <laughs> right, yeah, same with me. Um, and so we have uh, honey tea here. Mm -hmm. And like the Hint Water, we have tea. It's, it's all natural, no sugars, no preservatives, and it's only sweetened by a little bit of honey. Um, it's very important to incorporate honey into your lifestyle. A lot of us just stick with the sugar, the artificial sweeteners, but you know that with the honey tea, with, with the honey drop tea, you're getting all the advantages of eating and consuming honey in a, in a bottle. So if you go on, on the websites, you'll find mm -hmm. all the products. So you can go to honeydrop.com, mm -hmm. find the teas. It's June, you'll find all that, that skin care and mm -hmm. all the products for the girls. Well, Nicolette, thank you. Thank you for joining us on another episode of the Yvonne Candy Show. You can follow us on Facebook, or you can ask to be in the studio audience by going to YvonneCandyShow.eventbrite.com. Thank you so much again for joining us, and until next time, live the life you deserve.